I'm calling you to do this fast. And I'm like, God, you want me to go three days without food? I can't even go three minutes without a snack. Hello, good morning, man. I am barely new to fasting, but I just recently came off a three-day water fast. And man, fasting is powerful. It is so powerful. Um, Dang, I don't even have the words to describe it. It's just an experience. Um, and not just an experience by itself. It's like an experience with God. I was led by the Spirit to do a three-day water fast. Now listen, I tried to do this fast before. For about, for about two months, the Spirit has been nudging on my heart to do a three-day water fast. And I was led to the book of Esther. Now mind you, I have never read the book of Esther before. And I and I was led to the book of Esther and I read it. And oh my goodness, I, as I was reading it, it was like I was picturing a movie like it was literally as if i was reading a book to a movie if there is a movie on esther please drop it in the comments because i would love to watch it i would love to watch it but that is how it felt when i read the book of esther so you know finish the book i get on youtube and i saw a few people talking about oh three day water fast well, Esther, and i mind you i'm i wasn't looking nothing up specifically on three day fast and it just was popping up on my recommended and i was like oh i just finished esther let me click and see what they're talking about cool boom hear their stories you know what i'm saying amazing amazing now i didn't went on about my business at this point and god was still nudging on my heart like hey i'm calling you to do this fast I'm, I'm calling you to do this fast. And I'm like, God, you want me to go three days without food? I can't even go three minutes without a snack. So three days, that's kind of extreme for me. I was kind of ignoring it. And then I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this fast. Yo, failed miserably. When I tell you I compromised the first time I tried to do this fast. And you know why I compromised? Because I was doing it in my own strength. I thought that I was doing something for God. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I got this. Let me do this. Nah, I'm telling you. On day one by 6 p.m., I had a whole plate of food in front of me. A whole plate napkin tucked in a shirt utensils ready like i was feasting i could not i was like oh no ma'am after that i'm not gonna lie i felt convicted i felt bad i was just like dang i know you really calling me to do this and i i'm really not living up to what you calling me to so i had to be real i was like god look i'm not i'm new to this not true to this like why do you want me to pass like i don't even know what you want me to do this for like what do you want me to do this for like why are you calling me here like i had a serious conversation with him like why are you calling me here and literally the next day he said i'm ready to give you your next instructions i'm ready to give you the next your next instruction this was april 30th when he said you know i'm ready to give you your next instructions may 1st through may 3rd is when i did the fast now on may 1st um, you know what? Let me break it down into two categories. I want to break it down into the, the physical aspect of the fast, and I'm going to break it down into the spiritual aspect of the fast. So let me just start with the physical. Just get it out the way. I already don't eat breakfast, and I'm, 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 I'm getting better at that. But just on a normal, I don't like to eat breakfast because once my stomach starts talking to me, once I leave the house, I got to head back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do nothing. Because if my stomach ain't feeling right, ain't nothing else going to be right for the rest of the day. So I tried. I skipped breakfast for that reason. Um, But my body is already used to not getting food in the morning. So that was no a no-brainer. You know what I'm saying? I had already been drinking water prior to the fast and training myself to do a gallon a day. So that was a no-brainer. But the hunger pains were there. Now, mind you, you know, I, I went to work these three days. My job is a very active job. Like, you're on your feet. You're moving. You're out in the sun. You're out in the heat. Listen, in Louisiana, is 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 transitioning into summertime. The sun is out. It is hot. We are in the high 80s. So, my body is using a lot of energy. And a lot of energy is being poured out for me. But I didn't have any food you know, or anything in my system. So, like, maybe around, like, 2 o'clock, those hunger pains started coming up. I would just drink the water. I would just drink the water every time it came up. And then once I got home, you know, I felt fine. But then when it was time, like, to go to bed, especially on day one, when it was time to go to bed, them hunger pains was getting to me. I was just like, bro, I don't even know how I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, look, it's the bluebird. A blue jay, whatever they call it. I don't even know how I'm going to go to sleep, but I ended up falling asleep. Cool. Day two, woke up hungry. I woke up hungry. Like, not even about to lie to you. I woke up hungry. I ignored it. I had to be to work early that day. I ignored it. Just grabbed my water and I went. Once I drank some water that morning, I was fine for the rest of the day. I was fine for the rest of the day. When I got home, the hunger pain started again. Now, let me tell you something. That night, I was like, God, look, I'm starving. I am hungry. I'm not going to be able to sleep well if I don't eat. Like, me trying to 
So I tell him, you know, what I need and what I'm going to do, et cetera, et cetera, and, and, and how I'm feeling during this phase. Like, I, right, I'm ready to eat, man. When I tell y'all, listen, me having that honest conversation with God, night two, that was some of the best sleep I ever got. Like, I fell asleep going off on God. <laughs> I fell asleep going off on him, for real, for real. Like, he was just like, girl, I, listen, that's, you hungry. You hungry, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't taking nothing at the heart. So I'm gonna let you get some rest when I tell you I slept so good, and I slept all night. I have never been so well rested. Like, oh my goodness, day three. No, no, let me go back to day two. Day two was really the hardest day. Cause it's just like, dang, I made it to day two, but dang, I still got a whole nother day. Like, I'm ready for this to be over with. I'm ready to eat though. But like I said, I got some, uh, ooh, look at these bees, it's out here. Well, now day three, wait, let me go right back to day two. Day two is when God downloaded my next instruction to me. Before I started going off on him, I was sitting at my desk and that is when I got my instructions. And I wrote it down and it was just like, man, but I'm gonna go into detail about the instruction when I touch on the physical aspect, I mean the spiritual aspect on it. Day three was pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, it was just like, dang, I made it. I made it to day three, like, bro, I never would have thought I would have seen the day that I would make it to this. Even though it was three days, let me tell you something, it was the longest three days because you're not doing something that you're used to doing, you know what I'm saying? I felt great on day three. Hunger pains were still there, of course, but it was just like minimized at that point. Like your body had, my body had uh, done got used to not receiving food, but it was just doing what it does. And you know, I think, what is it called? Ketosis? I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Like your body going to ketosis where it just began to use the fat or whatever is in your body for energy and stuff like that. So I don't know, I could be wrong what I'm saying about that, but hunger pains were still there, but they wasn't as strong. I was very well rested. I had a lot of energy waking up because of the rest I got on night two. So, and also, even though I wasn't doing this for no, you know, weight reasons, weight loss reasons, I didn't even weigh myself before I started. I did not weigh myself before I started because that wasn't the reason why I was doing this. But a week before, I did weigh myself and I was sitting at 230, 230. And before I started this video, I said, let me just weigh myself to see. I was 226. I'm more than sure it was just water weight that I probably lost, but did lose a whopping four pounds in those three days. So, you know, I guess that just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wasn't doing it for that reason um, at all. It just happened because I wasn't eating. Let's go ahead and switch over to the spiritual aspect. Day one, my prayer time, I say, God, look, I'm going to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but your spirit is leading me to do this and I'm just going to show up. I don't know what I'm showing up for. I don't even know if I'm going to do this right. Like, even though I can't, all you're doing is drinking water. You can't, you can't do nothing. That's the only rule. Just drink water. And besides, of course, be spiritually. But I was like, I don't know why you calling me to do this. And whatever you want to do, have your way. However you want to come through, do you. You know what I'm saying? Like, the floor is open to so whatever you want to do. Skip into day two. Like I say, day two was really the meatiest part. Day two is the midpoint. You know, it was the hardest day. And I told you that's when I got my instructions. Like I said, he was calling me to this fast to give me my next instruction. And my next instruction was a budget. So I recently told y'all, you know, I got a new job. Now, mind you, I have never been the best with money. I never knew how to manage my money. I never knew how to do nothing with money. Um, I was the type of person, I get money, I spend it on whatever I was indulging at the time, whether it was drugs, whether it was these women I was with, whether it was, you know, lust, um, to fulfill my body, you know, food, clothes, stuff that didn't don't that don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So I never knew how to properly manage my money. And literally on day two, he gave me a budget. Now I've always tried to write budgets, and they never went through. You know what I'm saying? It was, it wasn't, it wasn't a proper budget. It wasn't a proper budget. And literally, this budget he gave me is so simple. It is so simple. And I'm like, son, you just mean to tell me I couldn't even think of this on my own? And he didn't just give me a budget. He gave me a savings plan. He gave me a plan to catch up on stuff that I had missed out on when I was unemployed, like to catch up on some things. I was like, God, you know, where am I going wrong with this? Where did I go wrong? And he allowed me to have a dream on day one, on night one. I had a dream. And let me tell you what the dream was. I went out to eat with Pretty V. Y'all know Pretty V from uh, Wild and Out. And... She ordered her food, and I ordered my food. Now, I ordered three appetizers, but I'm the type of person that I'm going to order appetizers for my entree. I ordered three appetizers. The lady bought out the first appetizer, and I literally picked up my plate, and I left. 
And that was a dream. And I woke up the next day, I said, God, what does that mean? He was like, you rush a lot. You rush a lot. You don't you don't take time to sit down and think things through. You don't take time to properly plan. Like, literally, you ordered three apple sizes. You left when you got the first one. And the thing is, you didn't even put your plate in a to-go box. You literally picked up the plate and walked out. And like, you didn't ask for a to-go box or nothing. Like, literally, just pasta in your hand on the plate. And you gone. He, he reveals to me that I rush a lot, that I don't plan, I don't prepare. Um, I'm just the type of person that when I get an idea, I just go straight forward for it. I just go straight forward. So him giving me that budget was literally like, no. What I'm bringing you into, you cannot afford forward to mismanage the blessing so i need to i need to show you how to manage the little you have right now so that way i can make be sure i can trust you with the big stuff that's coming in ah me 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 so i can make sure that i can trust you with the big stuff i have coming in for you and it ain't just for you you know what i'm saying you're managed you're going to be a a a, a kingdom that i am building for others so this ain't what i'm going to give you ain't just going to be for you it's going to be for everybody that's around you like you're going to be taking care of my people for me like i want to be able to trust you with my resources for my people but i can't do that until i can trust you with the little stuff and that's literally what was downloaded into me like i said he gave me the budget like, he gave me the answer key, but I still have to take the test. He gave me the answer key, but I still have to take the test. Day three, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, it's, it's, it's go time. I got to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to be trusted with more. And that's just me being real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm looking for God for just the blessings. Nah. Listen, I done been down for like the past two, three years. And I ain't, I ain't never doubted him. I ain't never lo lose trust in him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know all this is for a reason. I know he had to bring me through all that. Get me here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Day three, I was, I was so content. Like, thank you. Thank you for helping me in a place where I have always been ignorant. For in, a play, for in a place that I've never learned stewardship, in a place that I've never had stewardship, you know what I'm saying? So it's only up from here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's only up from here. Now, during that time, the only passage of scriptures I read was Isaiah 55. And what really stuck, stuck out to me in Isaiah 55 is it it's where it says, I think that's verse two, where it says, why spend your money on bread or, or, or why work? Hold on, I'm gonna get my Bible. So Isaiah 55 and Isaiah 55 and two, it says, why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy. Now, mind you, I have been only reading Isaiah 55 for like the past few days, like literally just reading it. Not reading it to understand, not reading it to like literally just reading it and the more i read it it was just like god started allowing certain stuff to point stick out to me and he started downloading me to me what it means for me he started giving me revelation on how does this applies to my life and literally why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy when you rush you spend your labor on what does not satisfy because you're just trying something that's that you think gonna work you're not planning it you're not sitting down and asking god for a provision for 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 a direction for guidance you're doing that on your own strength and also why spend money on what is not bread you spending money on stuff that don't matter that's me i'm spending stuff on money that ain't got no return not ain't got no roi no return on investment to, for me i'm spending money on on lustful things i'm spending money on on flesh flesh fleshly things you know what i'm saying and I, and I always say dang i just got paid where my money went your money went to your flesh there's no return on investment when it comes down to your flesh this ain't doing nothing but returning back to the ground that's not an investment that's just going back to where it came from you know what i'm saying so like literally i don't know why he had me in isaiah 55 for the past few days but apparently like the more i read it he brings me into fresher revelations for what this means for my life I ain't never read this before I ain't never read this before and the thing is, I always hear your thoughts that are not my, uh, not my thoughts, neither your ways. I didn't even know that was Isaiah 55. I'm like, I have heard this all my life. Y'all know I'm a preacher's kid, been in church all my life, and I have never known that that was Isaiah 55. Like, literally, like, when I tell you, really just been, like, even with reading the Bible, take your time. Take, let him lead you to, like, like I can say, I don't even know what, let, what, I don't even know why I'm in Isaiah. I was just in Esther. And then I get to Isaiah 55. I had to skip 55 chapters just to get to this one. Don't know why I'm here, but let me just read it. Let me just keep reading it until he starts talking. 
literally didn't even know that that was gonna be my next instruction a budget you know what i'm saying but his ways are not our ways his thoughts are not our like literally every day i'm i see that more and more that his ways really ain't our ways so yeah man that this is my experience on my three-day fast when he said he was ready to give me my next instruction he wasn't playing he was not playing like he really had instructions for me like i said he gave me the answer key but i still had to take the test I still got to take the test. And the thing is, he only gave me a budget for the next two months. I only got a budget for the next two months. So no telling what's going to come after June. Ain't no telling if like, and I, you know what? I'm not even, like I said, I done released the thing of control, but it's just like, dang, two months? You trying to see what I'm going to do for the next two months? So, and you going you, you gonna to do drop something on me? Like, not, not, and I, listen, I can have expectations, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah. I believe that if he can come through like this, no, no telling what he gonna do in these next two months. If he can come through with something so, so simple. If I could follow something so simple that he gave me, ain't no telling what's about to come for these next two months, man. After these two next two months. So he's good. God is good. God is faithful. And I just thank him because this is restoration to me. Like this is restoration. This is what it looks like. Like, he's taking me out of darkness. He's taking me out of ignorance when it comes down to finances. Like, I've always been ignorant in finances. Always. Always. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm excited. Will I ever do a three-day fast again? I'm more than sure I will. But like I said, I I was led to this fast. This ain't something that I picked out to do. Listen, I only ever done one other fast, and that was almost two two years ago. Yeah, that was almost two years ago. And that was my first time fasting. Like, yeah, I've been in church all my life, but we didn't grow up fasting. We didn't grow up talking about that. You know what I'm saying? But fasting has power. And let me tell you something. It's even more powerful when you are led by the spirit to fast. Like I said, he had been nudging me for two months. He been nudging me for two months. He gave me a budget for two. I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Nope. He been nudging me for two months about this fast. And he gave me a budget for two months. You know what? Go call me a usher because I'm about to run. I was led here. I was on for him. I don't, like, I don't know which, why you got me here. I don't know what to even do. I'm, I'm just showing up. I'm just showing up. And he showed up too. So yeah. If God has been nudging you to fast, lean in. Don't resist like I was doing. And don't try to do it on, do it on your own strength like I was doing too. Ask him, which, why why you got me here? Like, I'm going to show up, but you got to tell me why I'm here. So, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want me to bring to you? What am I supposed to bring to you? What are you, what are you calling me to give to you right now in this moment? What are you trying to give me my next instructions for? Like, just, just be real with him. Just be real with him. I'm telling you. Be real with him. He could be real with you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is my three-day water fast experience and lord have mercy i what if this man called me to a 40 day ain't gonna make it, <laughs> ain't gonna make it. <laughs> baby i don't know how moses did it i don't even know how jesus did it listen boy i couldn't be jesus i'm telling you turn that stone into bread say less, <laughs> say less. matter of fact bring me three stones dog time these three days, you know what? I'm going to show when he called me to a 40 day, I'll be prepared for it. So I'm going to keep it at that. I'll be prepared for a 40 day. But nah, that, and, that, and that's how I want to fast. I want to be led to it, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, ain't nothing wrong with corporate fasting. Ain't nothing wrong with fasting for others, with others. But it is so different being led to it. It is so different. It's like he's calling you into an even more intimate space with him. And that hits so different. Like I've experienced that I've encountered spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'll see y'all next time, okay?